Here are the details from the Times report. In one of those emails, he called NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell a homophobic slur. In another email, he said that Goodell should not have pressured Jeff Fisher, then the coach of the Rams, to draft Michael Sam, a gay player chosen by the team in 2014. Gruden also criticized Goodell and the league for hiring female referees and trying to reduce concussions. And he said Eric Reed, a player who had demonstrated during the national anthem, should be fired. The emails came to light during an investigation by the NFL into workplace misconduct with the Washington football team. Now, Gruden released the statement you see right there last night. I have resigned as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. I love the Raiders and do not want to be a distraction. Thank you to all the players, coaches, staff, and fans of Raider Nation. I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt anyone. Okay. So let's get into this and bring in Adam Schefter with the very latest. Adam, what do we know about how the Gruden resignation went down? Well, I think what happened here, Ryan, is that it started on Friday with the initial uncovering of the email that he sent in which he used a racial trope about DeMora Smith, the NFLPA executive director. I think the NFL was waiting to see what action the Raiders would take, and there was no action taken over the weekend. And about 5.45 last night, it certainly seemed like the NFL was getting very impatient for the Raiders to take action, waiting to see what Mark Davis would do. And then lo and behold, about 90 minutes later, here comes the New York Times story that details seven years worth of emails that John Gruden sent to Bruce Allen, the former Washington football team executive that was uncovered during the investigation of the Washington football team. And obviously, in those emails, John Gruden insulted just about everybody that you could think of. And they included a number of racist, sexist, sexist and homophobic slurs. And at that point in time, Mark Davis, the Raiders owner, drove into the team's training facility, went to find John Gruden. The two men met. And then John Gruden announced that he had resigned. Now, it's also worth pointing out here that he had roughly six years and $60 million dollars left on his contract. So when we say he resigned, does that mean that he was willing to just walk away from those years and that money that was left on his contract is anybody who would resign would? I think everybody can debate that and wonder exactly how the outcome took place. I'm sure there were many conversations and it had to be very emotional for Mark Davis to basically let go of the man that his father hired that meant a lot for him to bring the team back to Las Vegas. It was an emotional decision. But again, John Gruden announced that he resigned. It doesn't really matter how it came down. John Gruden is out and he can't and he was essentially let go during Monday Night Football. And so it was a swift fall. It was a stunning fall. I think it was something the NFL wanted to see from the time it said that John Gruden's emails were abhorrent and despicable and against the values that the NFL holds so dearly. And again, once Mark Davis took the action, he did. John Gruden took the action. He did. Obviously, the Raiders move on, and Rich Bisaccia, the assistant head coach, now becomes the Las Vegas Raiders interim head coach. You mentioned Swift and stunning. This really absolutely was when you think about how secure John Gruden was in his job up until about a week ago, a swift turn of events. I want to bring in the whole team, Dominique Foxworth, Jeff Saturday, Dan Graziano, Marcus Spears joining us as well. Marcus, I'll start with you. I want to get your reaction to what went down. Yeah, listen, the, who you are is eventually going to be exposed. I say it all the time. Like, you you, you are in a situation, especially with us sitting on this on this show, with, with coaches, with players. Like, who you are will eventually come to light. And obviously, when you think about John Gruden and the things that he said and he never meant to hurt anyone, yes, you did. That's damn well what you meant to do. Because the emails say that. It's not nothing, it's not a figment of anybody's imagination. It's not trying to add anything to what John Gruden sent in those emails. It's who you are, boss. And you 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 are that guy because you did it for that long. So it's not, it's it's about getting caught here, fellas. Like, let's be real about it. It's about John Gruden being exposed, and now he's sorry. And now he apologizes for the things that he had going on for a number of years. So Listen, we're going to have a conversation about where the league goes and all of these things that come along with when something like this happens in the NFL. This is about John Gruden. This is about his feelings, who he is, and the things that he said. I stand on it. Y'all know me. I say it all the time. Say what you mean and mean what you say. All them damn emails that John Gruden sent, 
all of them racial slurs, all of the misogynistic slurs, all of the homophobic slurs. That's who you are, boss. So everybody out there in the world needs to accept that John Gruden is this guy, and he's paying the price for being who he is. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.